Well, here we are in a field called Quarry South, and this is our trial field this year. Uh, we've actually got three of these. This is the understory of uh, dwarf white clover, two varieties, Rivendale and Galway. Uh, they were planted about this time last year, beginning of June. Grazed with the sheep over the winter and then planted with DSV Champion, um, which is a, a group four feed wheat. Um, and um, yeah, we are today, what are we, the last day of May, 31st of May. Just wanted to have a quick look at what we've going, got going on in here. So if I just part the crop here, you can see the understory of clover. Um, that's all growing along quite nicely in the bottom on the whole. Um, move across here you can see quite a good stand it does get a little bit thinner um, as you go right up on the top and under the wood there um, the crop itself um, has just had one fungicide to date which was um, on the flag stroke uh, ears just emerging so pretty clean right the way down through a little bit of senescence of some of the older leaves there um, we're just flowering away quite nicely it's got some lovely big ears at the moment um, been nitrogen um, testing the leaves, not quite weekly, but pretty much weekly through through the growing season. 700 being the magic number on the Yara end tester. Um, and we've, to be honest, we've been slightly low um, uh, and been sort of chasing that. Um, but today uh, just clipped it at over 730. So um, I think finally the, uh, the clover element stroke the biology um, is starting to come to uh, come to fruition and release some nitrogen. So um, this had uh, soil mineral end tested in the winter, beginning of January, and there was about 230 kilos of nitrogen in the in the crop and the soil, and therefore what's potentially available um, to date. Artificial end, it's had about 130 kilos of nitrogen now. Um, I did slightly um, worry, put another 40 on, which was wasn't quite the plan about 10 days ago, but. Um, you have to go with the uh, with the season and how things are looking. It was dry and it was cold, and I think that's one of the challenges that we have about growing crops in a situation like this, um, where we uh, are reliant potentially on a bit more environmental factors. Um, so once it's rained and it's warmed up a little bit, I think the biology has got going in the field. Uh, this plot here is a zero N plot. Um, you can see that quite clearly in terms of height and colour. Um, so uh, we'll take some samples of this and we'll have a look um, uh, exactly what, um, what sort of yield we're getting uh, with no nitrogen. What's also great about this is as soon as this crop has been harvested, um, we have a ready-made cover crop in here um, for fattening up lambs um, or for grazing um, used prior to tupping later on in the season. So that's it. It really does look pretty champion.